Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to do an artist critique on this drawing right here. So let's get right into it. Okay, this was posted on the Ricks Can Do It Realistic Drawing Group on Facebook. And uh, from time to time, I pull out uh, a drawing with its reference photo. And I do a uh, quick critique on it uh, for the benefit of, well, everyone who's watching. Okay, now, as you can see here, this is the reference photo and this is the drawing. Now these are laser printed copies, so I, I really can't make any serious changes to these. But in this critique video, I'm actually not going to make any changes to the drawing uh, if, in way of uh, demonstration because this is going to be more on detail. Detail, proportions, measurements, and things like that. So what I want to bring out here are the minute things because this is a very nice drawing, and this artist uh, usually does very good work. But there are things that uh, we all, including myself, can improve on, and that is to uh, train the eye for details. So by a quick look, you might say, well, uh, this looks pretty close. I can't put my finger on it. You ever have that feeling? I can't put my finger on it, but something is a little bit different. Well, let me bring out what those possibly are, at least to my eyes. One of the things here, I'm going to find something I can point with here. Usually a pencil helps. Okay, if we take a look, for example, one of the things that stood out to me is this nostril right here. If you'll see this, here's the bulb of the nose, the point of the nose, which comes to about right there and then here you have the nostril that comes just past this reference line of the grid right here hopefully you can see that in the camera so it just goes past it and I'm going to mark it right here so you can see where that is in reference to the line and here's the bulb of the point of the nose I call it the bulb of the nose the round part so if you take a look at the distance between here and here, you can see how that is different over here. The bulb of the nose ends right here, but then you have the nostril ending right there. And that is a much shorter distance than this here. Then you need to align the nostril to the tear duct, which is here in the, if you'll see it, here in the reference photo, it is exactly aligned to the edge of the bulb or, or to the edge of the nostril to the tear duct. It's directly in line vertically. Okay, so you want to make sure that that is happening here. Now, in the drawing, it is slightly past the duct of the eye, right there. From what I could see, the the tear duct is a little more inside so we have a proportion issue there okay the other thing too is that we have to make sure is if you look at the shading right here of this other nostril and you see the shading here of this nostril here you want to bring that up and see where that aligns and you want to see where this one aligns and immediately if I move and put a mark right here, and if I go right up and I put a mark right here, notice the distance between that eye duct and that mark right here. And then you look at this eye duct, and then the mark is way over to here. That is a lot of distance gained here compared to this very small amount of distance here. It is actually more than twice the distance because from here to here would be the same as here to here and then you have to there and then you have to here. So it's over two times 
the distance. That is going to throw it off and you're going to say, whoa, there's something different. Well, what's different is the distance between here and here is much wider than the distance between here and here. This one here compensated a little bit by coming in a little bit here compared to the nostril, as we just pointed out earlier, but it's still much greater distance than from here to here. So what we have here is we have alignment issues. Here's another thing. If you take a look at this side of the nose, this nostril here, and if I put a little mark here, let's see if I get me a, a ruler here. You go straight up. It cuts right into this part of the eye. Right there, and there's the small eye die. But here, well, we have the grid line that actually shows where it is, and it comes right in the middle of the white of the eye. So what you have here is you have this line is closer to the tear duct here to here and it's not in the middle of this white of the eye whereas this one is in the middle between here and that uh, iris so we have proportion issues here where everything aligns up and this can throw off the overall look of realism now just on something um, that I kind of noticed really quick when I looked at this is if you look at the uh, jewelry here, the bling bling, okay, we have some uh, glaring differences, differences here that need to be pointed out. First off is if you'll notice that this jewelry curves down kind of in a loop, whereas this one here goes more in a straight angle. So this one's got more curve to it. Then it comes straight across like this. Whereas this one goes up in an angle uh, like this. So that needs to be angled up. And then it would carry on more in a direct move straight up like here. Okay, or angled up I should say but it's a little more got more sharper turns going here it goes up then it angles and then it goes up where this is just kind of flowy a little bit like this so little details you may not think means a lot but it means a lot it will really throw off the perception of realism if if you do not get these little details right because the little details when added together, make the whole drawing. And so that is very important as well. Okay, well that's it for this one here. I'm not gonna you know, keep pulling out other, there's other details that, that need attention, but the major ones is the ones that I brought out, and that's all these proportions. Uh, this person here would be like the sister of this person here in that they look alike, but they're not the same person because one has wider eyes than the other, a shorter nose than the other, and so forth and so on. Okay, well, I hope this critique video helps some of you in realizing the importance of minute details. Uh, if you have troubles with, with that, consider turning your reference photo and drawing upside down and then trying to duplicate. And if, by the way, if you just do that, look, you can immediately see the differences really jump out at you because you take your brain out of the equation. Okay? All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And, oh, and click the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.